Okay, can everyone hear me clearly? Thank you. Hi everybody, I'm Clarissa. Um, we are about to get started. Just a few housekeeping matters. Uh, please, this is the time to turn your phones off or put them on silence for the duration. We have a fantastic photographer here called Jenna. Hi Jenna. Um, there will be a short photo shoot after the ceremony so you can take plenty of photographs from the reception onwards. We have a live stream happening today for absent friends and family. Thank you to Jack for running that for us. And I will let you know a few other housekeeping matters afterwards. We'll be uh, returning to the reception venue while the bride and groom go and have their photo shoot. So we'll be enjoying some refreshments there. So I think we are almost about to get started. How are you feeling, Charles? Yep, I'm going to have another person join us. <laughs> Okay, I think we're ready. Charles, your bow at the ready. So I'm going to ask everyone to stand for the entrance of the bride. Please take a seat, everybody. OK, 
Kia ora. Thank you, everybody. I'm Clarissa Dunn, and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you all to Castaways for the Marriage of Charles and Yasna. I'm very lucky to call these two wonderful people friends. I admire their love for one another. They have built this love over years through language barriers, their lives in different countries, and the challenges they have faced through it all together. Their first meeting was a setup. Charles was living in Valdivia, Yasna's hometown, and playing the cello in the chamber orchestra there. A mutual friend, Danny, who I know is listening on the live stream, proved indefatigable in her efforts to get them together, even when she was told to stop. <laughs> Danny invited them both to a screening of The Lion King, then organised a party where Charles and Yasna were suddenly left alone in a room together, which worked. <laughs> the odds seemed stacked against them though. Charles didn't speak Spanish and Yasna didn't speak English, but they improvised and Google Translate soon became a close friend. Then there was the language of love. Charles was blown away by Yasna's beauty. When she enters a room or the bridal lawn, it falls silent. But her beauty is more than skin deep. Charles admires how incredibly loyal Yasna is to her family and friends. As he told me, she keeps a small handful of lucky people close and cares for them with tremendous depth. Charles was also attracted to Yasna's sense of fun. She's energetic, except in the mornings. <laughs> Curious, smart and kind. He's constantly impressed by how skilled she is in her chosen profession and how amazing she is with children and puppies. Hello, Harry. Charles feels like he can be himself around Yasna and he loves that she trusts him enough to explore each of his crazy dreams while providing a little grounding and advice when needed. No matter how tough a day he's had, it's always going to be okay with Yasna by his side at the end of it. Even after 10 years, Charles is still learning new things about Yasna every day. He says that he wants to get to know her more and more forever. When Yasna first met Charles, she was intrigued by this handsome man and his bewitching eyes, and she adored watching him play the cello. He's a man of many good qualities, but Yasna particularly values his loving nature, the fact that he is patient and kind, trustworthy and smart. Charles is the sweetest man Yasna has ever met, and she feels lucky to have him by her side. Yasna never expected or even aimed to get married. She'd always imagined herself as an independent woman, more of a fun auntie than a wife. But meeting Charles changed her plans. One thing Yasna really values about her relationship with Charles is how she is able to maintain her independence but also thrive alongside someone she loves so deeply. Yasna adores Charles's personality. He's charming and eloquent and always has interesting things to say and talk about. He's creative, adventurous and romantic. A dreamer who is always imagining the best outcomes in life. They are both romantics actually, with a shared sense of adventure and they're both very loving and trustworthy. Where they differ is where they help one another. Yasna is the tether to Charles's soaring dreams, keeping them grounded and connected to reality. Charles opens Yasna up to new ideas and different ways of thinking. He always thinks the best of people and situations and tends to be more relaxed and positive than Yasna. His boldness invites possibilities and moderates Yasna's more cynical thinking. Together, they make a strong team, balancing out each other's expectations of life. As individuals, they've had such different lives, such different families, 
and bringing all of that together is an enriching experience for both of them. It's taken them 10 years to make the choice to formally join their lives in matrimony. They've taken their time and don't regret a moment of the beautiful and sometimes chaotic journey they've been on so far. To Charles and Yasna, marriage is about formalizing and celebrating the incredible bond that they've developed over a decade. They've been through so much together, wonderful and difficult times across countries and continents, and through it all have grown closer than they could have ever imagined. Grown as people, grown as professionals, and grown ever more in love. Today is not about making new promises, but pronouncing out loud the actions and feelings that have underpinned their relationship so far. To celebrate their devotion, patience, admiration, trust and love for each other. And to encourage them to continue growing and evolving as they reach for their dreams and desires. Marriage is something they're proud to enter into. And they're happy to show the world that they're ready for a new step in their life and ready to start their own family, maybe adding a playmate or two for Harry. Charles and Yasna, with that common understanding, do you freely and without reservation give yourselves to one another in marriage? Gathered family and friends, will you support Charles and Yasna in their marriage? One more time, louder. We do. Thank you. Fantastic. Charles and Yasna, the vows that you are about to make are the first words of your next chapter together. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. After these vows, you will say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Yasna Nairet Parasota, I, Charles Barrett Brooks, promise to be faithful, supportive and loyal and to give you my companionship and love throughout all the changes of our life. I vow to bring you happiness and I will treasure you as my companion. I will celebrate the joys of life with you. I promise to support your dreams and walk beside you, offering courage and strength through all endeavors. From this day forward, I will be proud to be your husband. Charles Barres Brooks. I, Yasna Nayarit Barres Soto, promise to be faithful supportive and loyal and to give you my companions kind kind and love through all the changes of our life. I vow to bring you happiness and I will treasure you as my companion. I will celebrate the joys of life with you. I promise to support your dreams and walk beside you offering courage and strength for all endeavors. From this day forward, I will be proud to be your wife. Charles and Yasna, the exchange of rings is the traditional and public way of recognizing the lifelong vows that you have just made to one another. May Sam, do you have the rings? Charles, please repeat after me. Yasna, let this ring be a symbol of my promises to you and a reminder of my devotion to you. 
I am honored to call you my wife. So Charles will wear his father Gordon's ring, who we keep in our thoughts on this special day. Yes, repeat after me. Charles, let this ring be a symbol of my commitment to you and a reminder of my devotion to you. I am honored to call you my husband. I'd like to invite Charles and Yasna to sign the register now, witnessed by Charles's mum, Margaret Brooks, and Helen Masson, a dear family friend who was also at Margaret and Borden's wedding after the bride. Special welcome as well to everyone joining us from around the world on the live stream, including Yasna's friends and family in Chile.
Kia ora. Hello to her mum Veronica, her father Marco, and siblings Jaime and Ruby, and her uncle and auntie Anna and Fernando, as well as her friends Roxana, Danny, and Carlos. And now my welcome to Charles's aunties Alison and Lorna, and to friends across the world who couldn't be here today, and to Charles's cousins who are quarantining at the moment. So we are glad to have all of you with us. Thank you. Charles and Yasna stand before us today, having made their vows and exchanged rings as a sign of their love and commitment to one another. Yasna and Charles, remember that the real act of marriage takes place every day. It's a choice you make, not only on your wedding day, but over and over again. And that choice is reflected in the way you treat your husband or wife. It is my great pleasure, on behalf of all of us here and all those with us in spirit, to offer you our love, support and best wishes for your future together. A future where you continue to be by one another's sides through the good times and the bad, and where without fail, Yasna, Charles brings you breakfast in bed. <laughs> Charles and Yasna, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Thank you everyone. Feel free to make your way back up to the reception venue and find some shade. <laughs> 